This is Mount Pleasant, built towards the end of the 19th century as a single building, but by 1911 it had been divided into two properties, with one side significantly larger than the other with more rooms. Sadly, there has been a fire in the smaller house on the left, which has destroyed most of the inside and smoke has got through to the adjoining house and caused severe smoke damage and now both houses are unoccupied. The first census we find Mount Pleasant listed on is the 1891 census. At this time we have the Jinx family with a Thomas Jinx as head of the household. He is 34 and a railway signalman. He is married and his wife is named Fanny and she is 36 years of age. They have seven children living with them. They are Frederick, aged nine, Walter J, aged eight, George A, aged six, Frank E, aged five, Ada T, aged four, Charles E, aged two, and Lucy M, aged one. Also living with them is Thomas's brother George, who is 20 and a carpenter on the railway. In 1901, the Jinx family are still at Mount Pleasant. Thomas is now 44 and Fanny is 46. Thomas is still employed as a railway signalman. They still have seven children. The eldest is Walter, who is 18 and employed as a railway telegraph clerk. Alfred, who I believe was down as George A on the 1891 census, is aged 18 and he is a grocer's apprentice. Frank, aged 15, and he is a pawnbroker's apprentice. Also there is Fanny, aged 14, Edward, who was listed as Charles E on the 1891 census, he's 13, Mabel, who I believe was down as Lucy M on the previous census, she's 11, and Arthur, aged 9. Also living with them is an Edward Steed, aged 11, and his sister Mabel, who is 7 and they are Fanny Jinx's nephew and niece. There is no Ada listed on this census. Moving on to the 1911 census, and this is where I believe the house was separated into two properties. My guess is the Jinx family, who are still residing at Mount Pleasant, are in the larger property. The 1911 census is interesting, as it gives a bit more information on the property and the family. It tells us that the Jinx house has nine rooms and prior to this date, Mr and Mrs Jinx had ten children in total and three of them have died. So in 1911 we still have Thomas Jinx residing here. He is now 53 and still working as a railway signalman. Sadly he is now a widow. His wife Fanny would have been between 46 and 56 when she died and I'll let you decide if it was the result of having 10 children. Apart from Thomas, we have his son Walter James, who is 28 and a telegraph clerk. Walter's wife Eliza Alice is here. She is 27 years old. It states that they have been married less than a year and are visiting. There is an Ada Jinx in the house. She is 24. This is the Ada that is missing from the 1901 census. I can only assume that Ada is down as Fanny on the 1901 census as the age matches. There is also Charles Edward who is now 23 and he is an estimator working in engineering. William Arthur who is 19 and he is an apprentice fitter also in engineering and the nephew Edward Steed who is now 21 and he is a surveyor's clerk. As for the three children that sadly died, it's hard to work out who they were. In the property next door, we have the Harrison family. The 1911 census tells us that the house has five rooms. The head of the household is Edward Harrison, who is 27 and he is a joiner in the building trade. His wife is called Annie and she is also aged 27 and they have two daughters, Edith aged three and Annie who is aged two. Moving on to the 1921 census and I can only find details for the one house. Thomas Jinx is still living at Mount Pleasant. He is now 64 and still working as a railway signalman for the London and North West Railway. He is also listed as a small farmer. I am guessing he had a small plot of land he farmed rather than being a farmer that's small in stature. 
He has his daughter Lucy Mabel living with him. She's aged 31 and does home duties. His son Charles Edward also lives in the house. He is 33 and listed as an electrical engineer, but down as out of work. His wife Dorothy lives here. She is 32 and listed as doing household duties. Finally, on the 1939 register, we have two households listed again for Mount Pleasant. We have Lucy Mabel Jinx living on her own. She's now 50 and does unpaid domestic duties. The second household is comprised of six people. Could it be that Lucy Mabel moved into the smaller of the properties? Maybe she didn't want to leave the area she grew up in and was given the opportunity to have the smaller of the houses. John M. Comer is the head of the second house. He is aged 49 and employed as core grinder and industry liner. If anyone knows what this job entails, please let me know in the comments. His wife is called Eliza and she is aged 52. There are four children with them. The eldest is George, he is 22 and an electric welder. Sylvia L, she is aged 19 and employed as a grocery shop assistant. Albert L, aged 18 and he does general farm work. And finally Francis, who is 16 years old and he is also a grocery shop assistant. I was unable to find out any information as to when the fire occurred, but looking on Land Registry, I can see that a property letting company called Rugby Group Limited bought Mount Pleasant in October 2017 for £215,000. They have two listings the same, so I am unsure if they bought both houses for £215,000 or if they were £215,000 each and I can't see if the fire occurred before or after they were sold. Mount Pleasant was up for auction on the 29th of May 2024 with a guide price of £650,000. It has planning permission for two three bedroom bungalows on adjoining land. As there is no new record on the land registry, it seems the property didn't sell. But join me as I explore these two houses. At first I thought I was entering one house and didn't realise there was another house attached to the left. definitely been a fire in this house at some point. There is a, uh, there's a house attached right next door. It's quite modern inside, they've got modern wallpaper. Oh, of course there would be a cellar, wouldn't there? I think that was meant to happen. I think that was already broken. That's what I'm claiming anyway. This door with a latch on. So I think that's just a, a, an old pantry as was. Hmm. 
that you like what? that you like really dated that's not proper English is it? so a modern kitchen into the garden oh my days right let's head upstairs From the outside it looks like it's on three levels, so I don't know. Yeah, I think there's an attic. Oh my god. And they all lived happily ever after. Look at the beams. They do look like their original doors though. Big doors. Across the landing, there are cobwebs everywhere. space okay back onto the landing just so there's some stairs going up presume this was the bathroom yeah big bathroom so it does look like someone started to do something with this place I don't know if that was before or after the fire Assuming there was a fire, I mean there's all stuff outside that looks all charred and burnt. That's the bathroom. Don't know what that was. And yeah, there's more upstairs, look. This would have been the attic. There's another loft door there. There's a view out outside. Got a nice big garden. Just back. Oh, got 
another bathroom. And then another room here. Oh my God, there's books everywhere. These sex books and there's that red book downstairs. So I don't know if they were like a, distri a distribution. of them. Very strange. This looks like it was an office. That's where they packed, packed books up and shipped them out. Right, back down. It's only a little house, but we've got a cellar to look at, which I'm not over thrilled about. There's the attic. already see look the hooks on the ceiling for the meat and then down there come on let's go and have a look like a little cupboard to the side there might have been where they stored like fresh produce Oh my god, there's like cobwebs hanging right down. Oh my god. Oh, there's a box of books, look. Box of books, the X Files. What was that? Oh, there's a frog. There's a frog. Oh, little froggy. Sorry. Oh. More books. Oh, God, it's creepy down here. Sorry, froggy. Right, well that's the inside of the house, it's only a little, a little place. I'm going to have a look around the outside. So as you can see, there's burnt stuff here. I don't know where that's from. There's more stuff there. Oh, there's another entrance here. Okay, so it looks like there's another bit of the house here. It's pretty bad. Oh, this is a different house. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get in. Okay, so this is a, I think, a whole different house on the side. This is where the fire has been. Oh my goodness. I've just got to be really careful in here. So I think this was the original farmhouse. Oh my goodness, look at the smoke, the soot damage. But look at that fireplace. Isn't that amazing? Right, so 
we've got another room here off the main entrance. Look at it all. The ceiling. Okay, grief. Melted the, uh, the window seal. There's a door there. I'm going to see what's through there. Right, this is the kitchen that we're coming into. It's a modern kitchen too. Look. See, so yeah, I wonder what happened. Well, I wonder what happened. There was a fire, but I wonder what caused it. French door there. Oh my days. It's a nice kitchen. Got a little telly there. They've got two tellies. I think the room I was just in was where the fire started, but I could be wrong. Belfast sink. Oh dear. What a shame. Right, back out in the hallway. And I think this is where the main fire has been. I mean the steps down to a basement. There's a bathroom back here. There's no way we're getting upstairs. The stairs have just gone. Aren't they? So there's a bathroom back here. still running the cistern still look at the state of this good grief looks like it's even melted the tiles and then there's a, a basement do we dare don't go down I mean the steps are stone so We'll have a look in a mo. But you can see where the staircase was, look. Going up. You can trace the line, you can still see the banister going up and round. And then into them rooms up there. Jeez. Right, we're down in the cellar. like this um, got away quite well still got a Christmas tree there look looks like they had a gym down here there's a, a treadmill a bike this was their gym there's a guitar more Christmas decorations goodness me this has got off quite lightly. I hope the people were okay. It's a bad fire. Hello, creepy thing. Alright, 